So, Chosa ones, I want us to have a very honest discussion. There are some things you have to know, okay? Let me switch this microphone to the other side, because I'm not so sure if... There is something you have to know. There is some things you have to know. The enemy wants what you have. Do you want me to repeat this for you one more time? The enemy wants what you have. Whether it's conscious, whether it's unconscious, whether it's intention or not non-intentional, they want what you have. They do want what you have, okay? When you see a lot of these moths gravitating towards the light, that is because they want to shine. So they will move from the darkness, come to the light, so that they could see where they need to go, okay? And you have got to be very careful. Not pretty much everybody that wants to be around you. Not pretty much everyone. I do not say all people. Not pretty much everyone that chooses to be around you. They do want the best for you. It's nice to be around you, you know, it's nice. They shine, they glow, they achieve certain things because they're around you. But there's also some other things that they will do and they are usually going to steal from you. When you understand this and overstand and understand this, your lives will start to take off. Now you guys know that I don't talk about things I do not know. And I cannot talk about things I've not seen. A lot of chosen people are entangled with narcissists. You can look around the world. Every form of chosen person, if not all, I could even say 90, 99%, they have been entangled or they are actually still entangled with narcissists. So they are not being, they are not going to be able to achieve their highest potential unless they break free from these energy vampires. There is many people who don't understand that energy vampires exist, wickedness uh, exists, witchcraft exists, evil people exist. The moment you start to understand these chosen ones, you are going to start being very protective of your energy. You will now understand who needs your energy, who can you give your energy, and you and who, can, who can you not give your energy. You cannot just pretty much go around giving energy to everyone because you understand the importance of your energy, okay? Your energy is your bank balance. So if a person really is struggling with different stuff, nothing is happening, you're not taking off, you're stuck in some cycles, you're stuck in a relationship, you're stuck with your family, then you have to know that. There is something uh, you need to do, okay? You need to start moving away so that you can be able to um, move to where you want to be, to go and move to which direction you want to be. Because the people that you're living around, that's living around you and staying around you, they are stealing from you. Now, you guys know that on this channel, I do not discriminate. I do not discriminate uh, your sexual orientation. I don't care if you are gay or not. I don't care which belief you come from. I don't know who is a Buddha, Hindu. I don't know uh, who is a Christian or not. I do not discriminate because when you're talking about some spiritual things and subjects. Spirituality does not discriminate, okay? So when I'm teaching, I teach everyone. And in this video, I want to give you some highlights of the things that the enemy will steal from you. Now, regarding, depending on which faith you believe in, what is your faith, what is your religion, depending on what you believe in, then you also know that there, is sometimes, there are sometimes in your life when you have to pray. Some moments in the day when you have to pray. Maybe in the night, maybe in the morning, afternoon, wherever. You, have a prayerful, you must be a prayerful person, okay? 
in whichever language you want to use, whichever prayer, whichever prayer you want to say, you always have got to mention in that prayer that God will restore these particular things that I'm going to mention in this video that the enemy has stolen from you. So when you identify something that I say in this video, include it in your prayers and ask God to restore the most high universe. I don't know what you believe in, like I've said, ask God to restore these particular things that the enemy has stolen from you over the years. Number one. Have you ever asked yourself a question as to why there is some people that you meet and for some mysterious reason your finances start to crumble? We're talking about your money, we're talking about uh, your work, your jobs, everything starts to fall apart. And on the other hand, the person that you're entangled with is starting to do well for some reason. They are getting job promotions. They have opened up a company. But on the other hand, when you met them, you was okay. But for some mysterious reason, your finances are crumbled. That means that your, the enemy has stolen your God-given rights of abundance, of wealth, unlimited wealth, money, good fortune. So if you are very familiar with this situation and you have started seeing a downfall in your finances, and on the other hand, this person seems to really do well in life, you're not doing well. Ever since they came into your life, you're not doing well. There has been an energy exchange and the enemy has stolen your right to abundance. When you're praying, mention it in your prayers that God should restore your gifts of abundance. But don't, don't forget to let that guy go. Man or woman, let them go, okay? Release them and ask God to restore your rights to abundance. It will come to you. Number two. Your enemy, the enemy has uh, stolen your identity. Now, for the most of us who have been with narcissists, you know that normally at the end of those entanglements, sometimes we are looking like we are the narcissists. You find yourself starting to do very toxic things. You cannot even recognize yourself. And the person that you've engaged or you've been with, they have usually run away with your identity. So they're using your identity in, an, in, a, in a new relationship. While you're out there struggling and mourning and sobbing and crying, healing, you have run off with their identity. So now you're doing the things that they used to do that couldn't even describe your personality back in the days. That is one of the things the enemy will steal from you. The enemy will, will steal and exchange identities with you. I'm talking to the chosen ones. If that has happened to you, in your prayers, make sure you say a prayer to restore your identity. Okay? Ask the Most High, ask God to restore your identity. It will come back to you. Number three. What did the enemy steal from you? The enemy stole your right to true love. Now remember that um, when I'm talking about true love, remember that a lot of chosen people are entangled with narcissists. And this is for a reason. So most of those chosen people, they have actually missed their soulmates. Sometimes by a minute, sometimes by just one meter, by, by two feet, sometimes by just one day. Let me promise you, Along your journey, chosen ones, there has been a moment in life where you have run into your soulmate. Let me repeat this clearly one more time. You guys do know that I don't talk about things I do not know. There has been a moment in your life, could, be, could have been earlier, could have been somewhere in your journey, you have actually run into your soulmate. But for some reason, that man or woman was married to somebody else. And they was most likely married to a toxic individual. And what now happened? You also went somewhere and ran into another toxic individual. So you ran into the enemies then. 
and you will be there struggling with a very toxic relationship, you'll be struggling with the psychopath, you'll be struggling with the sociopath for years until one day you'll be able to wake up and break free. And that is when you're able to actually eventually at some point meet your divine counterpart. In your prayers for the healing empaths who have healed and working on yourselves, also ask God to reveal or re-reveal to you your soulmate, okay? Your true love, the person that is supposed to be with you. Number four. The enemy has stolen from you your gifts. You could have been born a very gifted person, okay? You're a writer, you're a musician, you're a preacher, you are you're a designer, anything. Those are good given gifts. You came into this planet, onto this universe, onto this room with those gifts. But having entangled with some people over the years, you have lost those gifts. Now all of a sudden you are seeing people are publishing books. You are seeing other people uh, taking some roles that actually you believe this could be your roles. You are seeing some people with business ideas which actually were your own. These were things that you wanted to do for yourself. And for some reason you have been entangled with some people. And now these people are the ones who are doing these things. And you are somewhere somehow stuck. And you don't know what is going on. That is because the enemy has sent their agents as well. And those people have stolen your gifts. In your prayers, remember, always ask God, ask the Most High to restore your gifts so that you can be able to use these gifts to your advantage and live your best life. Number five. The enemy has uh, altered your luck. Do you remember back in the days when you used to, it was not a problem for you to do something. It was not a problem for you to, it's like every day you'd wake up in luck. You know, you just go out there, you sell all your products in the shop. You have a lot of customers. There is things that you do, you've been doing. You have always been lucky most of your part, most part of your life. And for some reason, there's these family members, there's this wife or husband that you have. And for some reason, whenever you're around them, you don't feel lucky. Okay, you could, be, you could have been a person who used to run into luck every single day. Whenever you go out there, there's things happening for you miraculously. And you run into this individual and for some reason, it's the end of your luck and you don't understand why. That means that there's a person around you, they have altered your luck, okay? They have swapped energies with you again and now things seem to be taken off for them and for some reason, nothing is happening for you. That, that incident happened with a uh, greater narcissist. When I, when, when I entangled with a greater narcissist, I cannot go into the details. There were so many things I saw, but I figured out that actually this person was playing with my luck. Okay? That's, that's history now. That's gone. Everything has been restored. When you're praying, chosen ones, always make sure that you ask God to restore your luck. Number six. What has the enemy stolen from you, chosen ones? The enemy has stolen from you your purpose. There is things that you came here to do. There is things that you came here to do, okay? You are supposed to live a certain lifestyle. You are supposed to live with purpose and work with purpose. But for some reason, you got married to this individual and the only thing you can think about is a job. Yes, everybody will have a job at some point nine to five here and there but at the same time at some point as a chosen one you are destined to walk into your purpose at some point in time but the very moment that guy or man or woman walked into your life you no longer live with purpose okay the only thing you can recognize is a job and you can't seem to break out of that cycle okay you want to do something bigger but for some reason you cannot and you don't know what is going on that means that the enemy has stolen your purpose from you okay and they're hiding you from your purpose. That's one video I did many years ago. And I told you the enemy is hiding you from your purpose. Because they don't want you to reach where it is you want to be. In your prayers, chosen ones, remember, ask God to restore your purpose. So that you can find your purpose. This is something you should pray about every day. 
especially in those moments post awakening. Okay, remember to pray very hard about it. Number seven, the enemy has stolen from you your power. You can no longer make your own decisions. You can no longer eat the food you want to eat. You can no longer go where you want to go because you're living with somebody who has put a lot of limitations on your life. Don't do this, don't do that, don't say this and don't say that. Uh, don't say that. The black sheep, you already know what I'm talking about. You can resonate with this stuff. So the enemy has done a very big job to, um, to take all the power you have away from you. A lot of these narcissistic parents, even other narcissistic individuals, the very first thing what they do when they meet you, they take all your power away so that you can never be able to step into your power as a chosen one. Whenever you're praying, chosen ones, remember, ask God to restore your power, okay? Call back your power. In any moment after work, after awakening, during your healing journey, make sure that you always call back your power during your prayers and your power will come back to you, okay? And the last one I can talk about is um, the, hen the enemy has stolen your uh, happiness. Over the years, you used to be a very happy individual. You had a very nice glow. You used to smile. After I've done a video and I've told you guys that. Uh, I had a very beautiful smile back in the days, you know, when I was younger. And that smile was taken away from me. Okay, I'm still working on that. So if you see me a little bit like, you know, with these looks in my videos, don't, don't pretty much to worry about it, okay? Uh, it's not that I'm angry or I'm sad or whatever. I'm just a normal guy. But the enemy actually stole uh, away my happiness. Over the years, post-awakening, I've gained my happiness back because now I have my freedom back, okay? I can be able to wake up in a good mood and do whatever I want to do, move and go where, where it is I want to go. But that is something actually that they have actually stolen, uh, stolen from you. You may also recognize that uh, back in time, you have been with this individual and for some reason, you're not happy. I want you to look around you and tell me how many people do you really meet on a daily basis? They're in a relationship, probably they are married and they are planning to leave their husbands or they are planning to leave their wives because they can no longer, they, they, don't, they know that they're not happy. They do know they're not happy and they want to leave those relationships and situationships. There have been years and they can never find happiness. That means that the enemy has stolen your happiness. In your prayers, chosen ones, remember, call back your happiness, okay? Ask God to restore your happiness so that you can be able to step fully into who it is you're destined to be. The last one, which is very powerful, and I've talked about this as well, is your freedom. Your enemy has taken your freedom away from you. The enemy wants you to be a slave. Okay? They want you to be their little slave. So you can never be free. You are in a, you are in a cage. You are a married woman who is actually suffering in your own home. You cannot have visitors in the house. You cannot eat what you want to eat. The enemy has stolen your freedom. In your prayers, when you're praying, whatever you pray, ask God to restore your freedom. And you can break the chains of slavery and bondage out of your life, okay? If there's anything I've mentioned that resonates with you, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you leave us a like, share the video, and subscribe. And of course, drop us a comment in the section below. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can book a session with me if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need... You will find it in, this, uh, in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's the most signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.